Hi, George here. I thought I'd just make a video because I've been getting a lot of um, uh, basically uh, messages asking me about whether this RFID um, story uh, coming from the Philippines that uh, you know there have been lots of people in the Philippine provinces who are being r rounded up for RFID chip implantation and whether I've heard anything like that. So uh, I personally have not heard that at all. And uh, I know I've asked around, and uh, certainly it's uh, no. I mean, generally, I, you know, so if just because I don't know it doesn't mean it <laughs> hasn't happened. Because <laughs> I'm usually the last one to know about anything. But my wife is pretty knowledgeable about what goes on in the Philippines, and she hasn't heard anything remotely like that. And my housekeeper as well, not nothing. Um, it's a very unusual story. Uh, for the Philippines because uh, in general if you wanted to go about implanting people in the Philippines you wouldn't just sort of, just sort of chase after them and round them up right? <laughs> you, you just uh, uh, do a special offer you know let's say you know you can uh, you, know, you get paid let's say a thousand pesos and, uh, you know, and you can have your free implant you know something like that maybe you get implanted and you get a discount uh, anyway, um, some people are saying, could this be the mark of the beast? And um, I don't think so, because the mark of the beast um, gets uh, occurs in a very specific context. And that is the, the basically the religious beast, or the second beast, um, forces the implantation on people in order that they can buy and sell. So it's a, a way of restricting the economy to those who would follow the one world religion. At least that's the way I, uh, I, I interpret it. And that, nothing like that is happening here. Even if this story was true, it would not be the mark of the beast. Um, so it's kind of odd. Uh, and that's it's something that's weird in the context of the Philippines. Uh, these RFID chips are expensive. And uh, generally, it, it would not make sense to do a mass uh, implantation in the Philippines at this time. Even you know, given the new world order things, and and, and I, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm quite aware of this all conspiracy theories, uh, and you know, weird stuff though does happen in the Philippines. I mean, we used to get chemtrailed in the Philippines, back when the American bases were here. But when Mount Pinatubo erupted, I think the chemtrails disappeared because I remember as child as a child seeing chemtrails a lot in the sky. But now uh, when, the, when I look in the sky, I don't see them. And one of the things that's missing from the picture. Is the presence of the American bases. It looks like the, when, the, you know, when the Americans were here, they used to chemtrail us too, but the Philippines uh, cannot afford to chemtrail its uh, citizens. You know, it's expensive to spray all those stuff and all, the, all, all of the flights. So, you know, but, you know we, we, we used to get those things. But RFID chips, I can't confirm it. Now, maybe, maybe the story is valid, but I think it's an isolated incident. Something like this, in, in the video that I saw, they said this was going on since the time of President Estrada. And President Estrada was president many, many years ago. Something like that going on. In the Philippines, nothing comes a secret for very long, you know. Uh, this is the number one text message country in the world. The word will get around. There isn't even an urban legend of anything remotely like this. So, um, still, uh, that doesn't mean it's not true. It's just that I haven't, I cannot, I cannot confirm uh, the story now but definitely one thing I will promise you that if I know anybody or if I myself personally are um, about to be implanted I will definitely share but I will probably share it on my Blackberry uh, because I'll be on the run so the main thing is to accept Jesus the Christ as your Lord and Savior Jesus alone saves and as long as you are in Christ Everything that happens to you is for your good, right? All things work together for the good for those that are in Christ Jesus. All right? So uh, prepare for departure now. Huh? The time is close. Um, keep Stick close to Jesus. Be hopeful. Keep looking up. And I'll see you in the air very, very soon. This is George signing off.